Welcome to part two of our introduction to SAS. If you're new to SAS, start with our first introduction to SAS screencast available on screencasts.org. We'll be building on what we've learned there. In our first screencast, we covered some of the awesome features built into SAS, such as variables, nesting, selector inheritance, and mix-ins. In this screencast, we're going to cover some more of what SAS has to offer. So let's get to it. Like CSS, SAS uses the import rule to import files containing SAS. All imported SAS files will be merged into a single CSS file when compiled. Any declared variables or mixins will also be accessible to the importing file. If there's no extension declared, SAS will try to find a file with the extension .scss or .sass and import it. So for example, if you import reset, it will compile down to the same as import reset.sass. Here is the final compiled CSS. You do have the option to include a plain CSS file with the import rule, but just beware that SAS won't merge its contents with such a file, and it basically just passes the import line through in its raw form. You probably won't be doing this, but it's good to know in case you encounter it. You may notice that reset.sass is compiled down to reset.css, but this is already included in our styles.css, so we don't need it to be compiled down into its own file. To prevent it from being compiled down, all we need to do is identify this file as a partial by renaming reset.sass to underscore reset.sass. SAS has partials so that we can identify files which are intended to support other files. You may be familiar with this naming convention from how Rails names its partials. It's good to get in the habit of organizing your code into partials. It helps keep your project organized, and you can start building a library of reusable partials that will come in handy in future projects. Referencing a rule's parent selector can sometimes be handy, particularly when using pseudo classes like hover. So instead of writing the following, we can instead write this in a more structured and organized way by using the ampersand symbol as a reference to the parent selector. The ampersand also preserves deeply nested rules. So this SAS gets compiled down to this CSS. While this indentation for the ampersand syntax may not seem to be in line with SAS's other nesting rules, it's definitely in line with the overall sassy spirit of keeping it clean and organized. You can use the pound squiggly bracket interpolation syntax in selectors, properties, and values. This can be particularly handy when using mixins. Let's say we have a list of links and icons for RSS, Facebook, and Twitter. In our link icon mixin, we have a type variable. We can use this variable to dynamically add a class name and use it to dynamically create the image URL. As you can see, interpolation is a great way to build dynamic CSS and keeps your code dry. You may also want to write comments from time to time to either debug or annotate your code for when you or a coworker come back to it at a later date. There are two types of comments you can write. First, comments that appear in the final compiled CSS, which can be handy for debugging and second, comments that are purely for developers and won't be compiled into the final CSS. To write a comment that will be compiled, you'll want to write slash star followed by your comment. You can also do multi-line comments by including spaces for nesting on the additional lines. You can also add a star to make it look pretty, and it still compiles nicely. To write comments that won't be compiled and will only be visible to developers who have access to your SAS, you'll want to write two slashes followed by your comment. Once again, if you want to do multi-line comments, you simply add spaces for nesting on each additional line. Thanks for watching! Subscribe to our RSS feed, follow us on Twitter, and please leave any comments, questions, or suggestions for new screencasts in the comments below. If you like our videos and think your friends, followers, or colleagues would benefit from seeing them, please feel free to share via any of the links below the video. We really appreciate your support. See you next time!